So we're here at CES 2014. And who are you? I'm John Lomanchik. I'm President and CEO of Cambrios Technologies. And uh, we make silver nanowire transparent conductors for touch screens. So what is this? What is this? So uh, our material uh, is made of tiny, tiny silver nanowires. These wires are tens of nanometers in diameter. They're suspended in an ink and our customers put that ink on these transparent films so that this film can conduct electricity and be patterned into a very, very thin, very light and flexible touch screen. So here's uh, Hitachi Chemical doing this one? Exactly. Hitachi Chemical is one of our partners, um, Okura as well. Um, and these customers of ours can coat this film at very wide widths very high speed and make a very cost-effective touch screen that's very thin and light. So this, uh, this is what you sell? Exactly. So this yeah. is our product. Uh, it's uh, called Clearome. Um, and this uh, jar is enough to coat many, many meters of film with a very thin layer of transparent conductor. All right. How, how, much, uh, how many phones can you make with one of these? Uh, with a liter of this ink. Um, uh, you know, depending on uh, how conductive you'd like the film to be. A liter of the sink can coat, say, a hundred square meters of material, and that's enough to do, oh, say, four or five thousand phones just with this tiny jar of ink. Nice. And over there you're showing a bunch of, those are actual end products, right? That's correct. So uh, we have, you know, because of the conductivity that our material can get to, um, the, the, the normal conductivity for a transparent conductive film is around 120 or 100 ohms per square. With our material, we can get to much, much better conductivity. What that means is we can build a very large uh, touch screen, large enough for, say, this 23-inch monitor uh, produced by LG, and this is available today. Um, and so that the touch response is the same kind of response you'd see on a very small display like a phone, a very fast response time. Um, really wonderful, full 10-finger touch, very, very fast response, and that's because of the conductivity of our film. Normally, to build a touch sensor this large, you'd have to do that on glass, which is very thick, very heavy, but because we can get to this great conductivity on just film, uh, we can make this sensor very, very thin and light. Nice, and that's one. Uh, yes, so uh, a number of OEMs have adopted our technology. This is the Lenovo Flex 20. Uh, this came on the market uh, just a little while ago. It's uh, a beautiful, thin light, but very large, uh, interesting form factor for an all-in-one. Um, uh, it can, uh, actually, this is a complete all-in-one. You can fold it down flat um, to, uh, you know, do gaming, to multi-person interaction. Uh, a really tremendous device. Again, would be very difficult to do this using a glass sensor. It would just be too thick and too heavy. So how is the visibility on, on this display? How is oh. the quality? Uh, it's tremendous. Uh, in fact, our material, when we go on film, it's more uh, transparent than the current state of the art, which is indium tin oxide, ITO they call it. Um, and so we have more transparency, more conductivity, and because it's processed roll to roll, kind of like you can think of printing the newspaper, it's very inexpensive. Very, uh, so good price and good performance. Absolutely. Absolutely. The best? Uh, certainly. In fact, what we've recently announced is that the largest touch sensor maker in the world, TPK, a company in Taiwan, um, joined together with ourselves and Nisha, uh, again, one of the largest film-based touch sensor makers in the world, uh, and we have created a joint venture um, uh, between the three companies to focus on the silver nanowire film for the um, large phone and tablet market. Both TPK and Nisha have recognized that by using our material, they can get to incredibly low cost and really address that part of the market in ways they couldn't with any other material. Large phone tablet. These are like all-in-ones, right? This is even bigger. That's correct. And so uh, a number of our other customers, because of the conductivity we have, can make these very, very large size sensors. So, um, in fact, this is an example of another partnership we just announced. This is our partnership with 3M. Obviously, 3M, very large film manufacturer and materials company in the world. They have selected Cambrios's silver nanowires to go after the uh, notebook, all-in-one, and even larger size touchscreens. In fact, uh, they've stated that they can make touch sensors up to 60 inch big using our material. And that way they can do kiosks, commercial applications, point of sale, 
you know, those really huge touchscreens that you see on TV, um, that's the market that 3M is going after. So there's 3M here and all the other companies? That's right. So, you know, Cambrios has been um, in the business of making the silver nanowires for close to a decade now. We've really got all the top manufacturers of touch now interested in our material, using our material and producing touch sensors. So, um, you know, we've, we've had, uh, we've had products on the shelf for more than a year using our material and an increasing number of partners and, and customers that are going to production. So you say 10 years, but now it's accelerating, something is uh, happening? Well, you know, the whole touch market is accelerating, right? Um, and so I think the, the length of time this takes is indicative of how difficult this technology is to do. Um, but now that we have it perfected and the touch market is exploding, especially large area touch, we have a tremendous opportunity in front of us. All right, so is, uh, do you think that uh, Cambrios is going to be the main technology? Well, I think it's fair to say that if you were to ask uh, media analysts or, or um, uh, people that watch the touch space, they would tell you that uh, among the alternatives to ITO in the market right now, Cambrios is clearly the leader. Um, and companies like TPK and 3M wouldn't be making the bets that they are on us unless that were the case. Nice. Can you show a few more demos? Absolutely. So these are some of our, um, our other partners. Uh, one of the things about the silver nanowires is that not only is the substrate that they're going on flexible, but the nanowires themselves are very flexible. ITO is very brittle. It will break. And so with the Cambrios material, you can make a flexible touch sensor uh, that's beautiful, sh completely shatterproof, could bend around edges, these kinds of things. Um, so that touch sensor uh, can be made so that these coming wearable devices, these curved phones, curved large screen displays, they can all have touch on them using our material as well. Um, and this is some other products from one of our other partners in Taiwan, Unidisplay. Uh, they're making everything from phone size all the way up to notebook tablets. Recently entered the market, and again, they really couldn't get to the price points they can unless they were using our material. So it's about price point, and uh, is this something about Transparency? Absolutely. So as you can see, really invisible, uh, no way to, to see any of the patterning and so forth. All right. Um, here's our partner Nisho, who mentioned uh, you know, in the context of TPK. Um, this is, again, a flexible touch sensor, and this was made for the automotive market. So you can imagine, you know, the, in the automotive space, you've always got that big, flat, square navigation and control screen in your car. Now, because of this flexible screen, you'll be able to wrap this around that beautiful curved dashboard you have in your car and not be faced with that big, ugly, square screen in the middle. Uh, so this is sampling now as well and should be showing up in automobiles over the next few years. Are you, can you say that uh, it's the best touch for flexible? Huh? I, absolutely. In fact, last year, uh, our partner Nisha did a study of how flexible our material was. And they showed that on a, a bend radius of only three millimeters, you could bend uh, a substrate with our material on it uh, all the way 180 degrees. They did that 100,000 times with no change in uh, the conductivity of the device. So that means the future, the crazy future with phones that aren't going to look like phones. They're going to be all kinds of shapes. Absolutely. It's only going to be possible with your technology. Uh, well, I think if you'd ask our partners, they would tell you that. All right. So looking forward to that. I hope uh, very soon. Yes, absolutely. Uh, as do we.